Hi everybody, Mr. Seward here, and today we are going to use Floor Planner to start creating walls for our tiny house design project. I'm going to show you the uh, project that I'm doing. It's this one right here. This is the uh, sample one that's in our uh, assignment. So anyways, I'm going to show you how to go about doing this thing. So the first thing is you need to log in to Floor Planner and then you're going to hit create project and it asks you to give the thing a name. So I'm going to call this tiny house. And then I'm going to give it my last name also so that I identify it as mine. I'm going to hit create project. Now you don't have to put in any of that other information. Now we've got three choices across the bottom. We got room wizard, upload image and empty plan. I'm going to choose empty plan. And we need to draw the exterior walls of our house first. So there is a bunch of tools over here on the left hand side. Uh, the thing that will default and come up is the hammer icon, which is exactly what we want, which is like the build icon, I guess. So I'm going to click on uh, draw walls. Now, when I look at this initially, um, it comes up as a default in millimeters or centimeters I should say and I want to change that so I'm going to actually come off of that whoops uh, I'm going to then go down to the bottom here on the left and there's a little M that's lit up blue and then FT which stands for feet now when I select draw wall I'm going to be in feet and inches which is what I want now we're going to set up the materials. You can do this later, but uh, it's probably more convenient to do uh, currently or right now. We're going to set up the materials for the uh, walls. The material that I'm going to use for the exterior, and I'm going to click on material here, and there's multiple materials, um, but I'd like you to use this one this time around, uh, and you can do searches. I'm going to put this in. It's cladding. That's the name of it. Cladding is a siding product. And I just highlight it here and it changes up here. All right. So that's the upper uh, material. Then this next one down. This is for the interior. And I'm going to choose paint this time for the interior. And these across here are different paint colors. I'm going to use these browns. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go right down here to this very bottom one and click. And that's going to give you, in that shade, it's going to give you a bunch of different uh, choices. Uh, I'll choose dusted moss for this. And uh, then I think I can hit the X. And I've got this. So that is, I got the two choices that I wanted here perfectly. Now, wall thickness. Because this is a house that's in our northern climate here, we're going to make our wall thickness six inches on the exterior. We're not going to change the overall height of the house or the room. We're just going to leave it the way it is. Now, I'm going to start drawing my walls. I'm going to go from this, this corner right here. And the reason I do that is, is because of the 3D zooming uh, function that you're going to know see in a couple minutes here once I get the walls drawn. Um, but you'll, uh, this is all about the camera that shows you that. So I just left clicked once and I'm going to pull this down and you see dimensions appearing on the uh, left hand side of and the right hand side of this wall. And I'm going to uh, get approximate here. So my first wall here is 12 feet long. So I'm going to get, you know, within a couple inches. It doesn't matter if it's long or short. We're going to modify it later. And then this one here is going to be 16 feet long. And you might have noticed something. I didn't have the line going straight, my wall. So um, there's nothing shooting out to the right of this. When I bring this down, you get like a reference line. So I'm going to click there. And I'm going to come down about four feet on my design. So you would be doing this to your own design. And I'm going to go to the right here, about 12 feet. Yep. 
then I'm going to go up. And here's a nice thing when I get even with this wall end over here, which is what I want to do, uh, it actually gives me a little reference line to show me that I am even with it. And then I'll bring it over to that one. Now, when you do that, what will happen is you will get the floor uh, to pop up into the uh, drawing. Okay, enclosed walls give you uh, a flooring. Now, uh, I went counterclockwise when I did this, and I did that on purpose, and I'm going to show you 3D here. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to drag this around, and I did that on purpose because I wanted the cladding on the outside and that paint color on the inside. Had I traveled the other direction, what would have happened is I would have had the cladding on the inside and the paint on the outside. So I just reversed the direction and went around in a counterclockwise direction. Now, uh, something to show you here. Um, in our settings here, oh, I'm gonna, I gotta go to 3D, sorry. In 3D, uh, you might have cutaway walls turned on. And what that's gonna do, and by the way, what I'm doing right now is I'm just pushing on the uh, mouse button to move this, but you can see the walls actually disappear on the exterior so that I can see everything that's on the inside of this. When we get bathtubs and showers and whatever in here, that'll that'll be the, the thing that we'll see. So you can uh, turn that uh, little switch on and off. So you gotta be in 3D and then you go to that little computer monitor looking thing and turn off cutaway walls. You also have show ceilings and show shadows. Uh, we'll leave those on. And I'm going to go back to my 2D drawing now. All right, now I want to change the sizes of uh, these walls because they're not perfect. For instance, this wall right here should be 12 feet long, but it's 11 feet five and five eighths of an inch. So if I click on this and I just highlight all of this, whoops, come on. Here we go. I changed this to 12 feet and I got to put in the feet mark, right? You're going to see an arrow that goes to the right, an arrow that goes to the left, and one that has double ended. What that means is, is if I click on this arrow that goes to the right, it is going to move the wall the to the right. So watch that wall when I click on it and you see it move out. Now my dimension is 12 feet, which is exactly what I want. The next one down here, this dimension, I actually want this dimension to be uh, 16 feet. So I'm going to put in one, oops, six feet and I'll hit enter and it changed it and see it went in the wrong direction so i'm going to use the undo tool here and i'll double click on this thing again and i'll change this to 16 feet and this time i'll pay attention to my arrows and uh wow that got way big <laughs> one six feet okay i'm going to pinch this one in this time there we go Okay, so that's pretty good. So that gives me my overall of 28, which is what I want. Now on the vertical here, this dimension, I want this to be 12. And let's see if I can actually uh, change the length of this one. 12 uh, feet. And I'll go uh, down arrow. Oh, it did work. What I can't do is like over here, if I click on this one, uh, I want this dimension to be 16, I think, right? No, 14. That's, that's what I want. I want 14 here, actually. Um, so if I just move this up, it won't do it. You have to click on the inner dimension to uh, get this to change, unfortunately. So I'm going to change this. Let's see. Uh, it's 12, 4. That's actually 16. So I want 16 feet and I'm going to expand this one uh, up. All right, good. So I've got my walls, the length that I want them basically. 
Um, oops. Well, these, this should be four feet. See what happens here if you if you click on one of these dimensions, it modifies all of them. So you got to kind of find a balance. Um, I'll double click on that one, and I'll just turn that into sixteen feet again, and we'll see what happens. Uh, down. There we go. Okay. So that's it for this video. That's how you draw your walls, and then how you can look at them in three D.